good morning good morning gentlemen uh, welcome to this video before I start this video uh, I want to thank you all for all your love and support for all your comments and thought okay in today's video we're going to discuss uh, the process of becoming a clinical laboratory scientist you know, a lot of you have been asking questions and uh, today I want to go through the process okay uh, first thing you need to do to become a clinical laboratory scientist you need to do your due diligence what I mean is you need to check to find out if a school is NAACLS certified NAACLS mean National Accrediting Agency for Clinical Laboratory so that's me is this will allow you to check if the school is up to the standard if the program the school is teaching or is offering to the student is up to this to the, to the standard also uh, you need you're going to spend money some of you to uh, go to those schools so you don't want to go to a school so where you're spending 60 50 Seventy thousand uh, dollars, where the program is not uh, teaching you what you need to know, so that you can sit and pass your board certification. So that's the reason you need to check if the school is an AACLS certified. Second thing is simple. You need to take your basic science classes. So. Everybody that wants to go to a medical field will take those basic science classes. All of us have to go through it. And I think this is the hardest, hardest part of going to a medical field, basic science classes. And uh, the third thing you need to do is after you find that school, you take those basic science classes and then you maintain that GPA it's nothing crazy it's not a 3.5 or 4.0 gpa you need some schools some schools is different from another you need a 2.5 2.9 2.7 gpa to get into that field okay so it's nothing nothing crazy so you will maintain that gpa and start taking your cls classes The school will put you on a clinical rotation after you complete those classes. Classes is nothing more than like 10 to 12 classes to complete your CLS program. Between 10 to 12, some, some schools is different from another, it's between 10, 12, or 13 classes. So they will put you in a, in a, in a, in a rotation, clinical rotation in, in an hospital. That's where you will learn or we perform the jobs or, or we communicate with nurses and, and doctors or we release critical results or we make judge, judgment call when something is wrong okay so you will learn those in the hospital they will teach you and they, they will they will they will teach you how to do this how to get the job done right basically you have enough knowledge from the school a lot of stuff in your head but there's nothing compared when you're in the field sitting down in hospital and perform it it's a totally different experience so the school will put you in a, in a, in a clinical rotation and uh, the last thing you will need to do is take a board certification the reason why you want to take the board certification is for your freedom yes this will give you your freedom you will be free to choose any state in the 50 52 state in america to work okay the reason i mentioned this is because only 12 states require for somebody to have require clinical laboratory scientists to have a license only 12 can you imagine only 12 states okay so basically some of you will say well why should i take board certification where i can work in like 40 state 38 state okay 
the reason you need to take your board certification is two main reasons two first one this will give you a freedom you're free to choose any state you want in america to work california require license very well paid state new york require license very nice pay state okay the most of the good pay state will want you to have a license most of them so it's important to sit down to get a license take the board certification the second thing you need the second reason you need to take the board certification is employer look at you different you don't want to go to an interview and employer look at you like anybody right so can i see your license here it is sir yeah so they look at you different they they see in you somebody that have the knowledge okay to get the job done this the board they know the board certification is no joke the scp board certification is no joke you start you answering question uh, from all your all of your classes 12 13 of them they ask any question no exception microbiology clinical chemistry clinical hematology coagulation urine analysis uh, uh, immunology they ask you any question doesn't matter where it comes from the book that's the reason you need to sit down and take that board certification employer look at you like okay i need this guy i need this lady i feel he has the knowledge to get the job done the second approach of becoming clinical laboratory scientist is are you coming to america this is the second approach because i met while i'm working on that field i met a lot of people that come from out of state foreign country are you bringing a degree to america or are you coming to study okay i'm, I'm gonna touch this part bringing a degree to america to become a clinical laboratory you need a science degree bachelor in science they don't ask you anything more you need a bachelor in, in science as long as you have a bachelor in science come coming from any other place you're good to have a to have a license right now if you bring in the bachelor in science you will need to evaluate this degree okay there's agency that do that evaluate your degree after you evaluate your degree you will bring your evaluation with all your classes and everything like that to asap board certification do not send it to the state send it to asap the reason you want to send it to the asap is asap is board certification national okay you don't want to send it to the state and the state make you take an exam like new york new york will make you take an, a new york state asap exam which is not national and when you stuck to work in new york no good send it to asap board certification they will evaluate and see okay you need an extra class you need two classes you missing that class okay they will send you a letter and, and with a list or whatever you missing because basically you bring a science degree but you didn't know you need in clinical hematology from that science degree probably you didn't know if you need clinical chemistry right so maybe you're missing those classes they will tell you you need to complete those classes find a school and complete those classes and we submit all the all your you know your classes and then they will give you a letter to sit down to take your board certification okay if you come from a foreign country you don't need to go back to school all over again bring your degree science degree submit it to asap board certification and then they will tell you what you miss only take the class you miss and complete and become a clinical laboratory scientist okay some of you who want who would like to come to america to study is a different process okay you have to apply from the school online 
you have to submit financial evidence that you can pay the school and support yourself and while you in america is a bunch of different steps to come to study to america and i know most of you a lot of you already know the process of become of, of coming to america to study a lot of you already know it i don't have to go through it but if you bringing a french degree to america this is the way to do it i hope to answer your questions i hope uh, uh one of one one more one more thing before i leave uh, there was a question about a doctor from egypt okay that wants to finish his, pro his program here he would like to work as a clinical laboratory scientist asking question if, if it's possible to do it yes if you're a doctor you have a science degree it's possible to have your license to work as a clinical laboratory scientist while you continue your degree yes it's possible okay find out what you need to what you need to uh what you're missing complete it and have the license make some money while you pursue your degree thank you all for all your love and support thank you for all your thought and comments keep them coming I'm, I'm going to continue to put all of those uh, uh to put more videos for you uh, so that you can have more knowledge or to become a clinical laboratory scientist what's the salary or anything about classes uh or to pass your asap you will find them on this uh, uh channel thank you all